Hey Valley, good evening. Tonight we're going to uh, find the area of a circle. Let's start off with a trivia question sent in by my wife tonight. What were the most popular baby names for 2013? I never would have guessed this. I'll give you the name of the most popular boy name and girl name after our instruction tonight. Here is the uh, target tonight. Officially, 11.4a, I can find the area of a circle. Let's do this thing. The pizza problemo. We talk a little bit Italian. Oh, which of these pizza pies is these a bigger? So if you want to know which of these two pies is bigger, you got to be able to find the area of a circle. Let's start off with the square pizza over here. We know that a square, if it's 10 inches across this direction, it'll also be 10 inches across this direction too. So I've got four sides at 10. If I multiply the two sides, 10 times 10, my area is going to be 100 square inches. So I got 100 square inches of pizza in the square pizza. But how do I find out the area of the circle? Well, we're going to use our friend pi again that we talked about for the first time last night. So I'll take and measure what the diameter of this pizza is. And this a pizza pi, it is a diameter of a 12 inches. So I've got a diameter of 12 inches. So that means I have a radius of 6 because from the center to the side of the circle will be 6 inches. And the way you find the area of a circle is you use pi r squared. This is pi 3.14 times the radius squared. And that's all you have to do. So if I take pi r squared, pi is 3.14, that's what we're going to use, times the radius, which is 6, and I square that number, now I've got 3.14 times 36. Let me grab my calculator here real quick. Grab my calculator, and I put that in. 3.14 times 36, I get 113.04 inches squared. So let me grab my answer here and slide it out. Now I've got 100 inches of square, square inches of pizza in the square one. The round one is actually 113 inches squared. I'll put it up there so you can make sure to see it. Which is the bigger pizza? Well, of course the round one is. You get about 13 inches more pizza. Buy the round pizza! Buy the round pizza! All right. So that's what we're going to be focused on doing tonight. It's a pretty simple, straightforward target. Let's review a couple of things from what we talked about last night. First of all, the diameter of a circle is a line going straight across a circle that crosses through its center. The radius is any point from the center of the circle to the side. The radius is exactly half of the diameter, or the diameter is exactly twice the radius. And then the circumference we learned last night, that's the distance around the outside of a circle. We won't be deal dealing with the circumference tonight. So in order to find the area of a circle, we find it by multiplying pi, 3.14, times the radius squared, just like we did in that first example. So let's go ahead and try some examples. On our first example, we need to find out what the area of this circle is, this coin. And we're going to round it to the nearest tenth if necessary. I'm going to keep coming back to that, um, rounding to the nearest tenth or hundredth if necessary, because a lot of the questions will have you rounding. All right, so we know that the diameter is 24 millimeters. That means the radius is half the diameter, or 12 millimeters. Now we just have to use our formula, area equals pi r squared. So here's pi, 3.14 times 12, which is the radius, squared. Now I did this in two steps. So pi times the radius squared is going to equal the area. So 3.14 times 144, because 12 times 12 is 144. If I pop that into my calculator, I need to move that over so I can grab it a little bit easier. If I pop that into my calculator, I get 3.14 hello, hello. 3.14 times 144 equals 
0.16. Now I have to round to the nearest tenth, so when I look at this number here, the tenths, I look next door, that 6 is large enough to round up. So my answer then becomes 4.452.22. So, I'm sorry, 452.2 millimeters squared. 452.2 millimeters squared. And I'm going to slide that right up there so I make sure that you're able to see it. Does this answer make sense? Because I'll keep asking you that question. Well, yeah, because it's about three times the radius squared. 144, let's call it 150, times three is 450, right? Again, I'm using my estimating skills to make sure I've got it right. The most common mistake, mistake kids make is they take the 24 millimeters, the diameter, and they square it. You have to make sure to cut that in half. Let's see how you do on this next problem. In this one here, you're just given the radius, not the diameter. So in this one here, we need to find the area of the circle. and We're going to round to the nearest hundredth this time. So now I've just got area equals pi r squared. This is probably what you'd be given on an MCA test. So pi r squared, I just put it down there. Here's my pi, 3.14. My radius is 4, so times the radius squared, which is 4 squared, will equal my area. So I simplified it. 3.14 times 16, because that's what 4 squared is. And I'll pop that into the calculator. 3.14 times 16 equals 50.24. And of course, that's going to be feet squared, so I'm going to slide that up there. Now I have to round it. I'm going to show my calculator too here. 50.24. I don't need to round it, do I? Because it's just two digits and I'm supposed to round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So this is already expressed as hundredths. Could you get a different answer doing this? Yes, you could. If you use the pi key on your calculator, your answers might be slightly different because pi is actually 3.14 and then the digits just keep going on and on infinitely. It never ends. So what we're going to be using for the purposes of our class is 3.14, and it'll be written right on the quizzes. That way, that's the way we'll be getting the same answers. So if you have an advanced scientific calculator, don't use the pi key. Just type it in as 3.14. All right, so we had 50.24 feet squared. Does this make sense? Well, yeah, it's about 3 times the radius squared. So it's about 3 times 16 would be 48, right? So... We're good. Our answer makes sense. All right, time for you to try a problem on your own. I've done three of them for you. See if you can find out what the area of this circle is and round your answer to the nearest hundredth if necessary. Go ahead and pause the video and give it a shot. I'm back. Let's see how you did. Well, the area equals pi r squared, so there's pi, 3.14 times the radius, which is 5, not 10. 10 is the diameter, 5 squared will equal my area. So I simplify 3.14 times 5 squared, which is 25, equals 78.5 centimeters squared. I'll pop it into the calculator just to make sure I did it right and make sure you rounded correctly because it says to round to the nearest hundredth if possible, so maybe I made a mistake. Let's just see. 3 point one whoops sorry about that three point one okay I'm struggling three point one something isn't working here my fingers three point one four times twenty five equals seventy eight point five centimeters squared I don't need to round it. It's expressed as a tenth. If I want to round it to the nearest hundredth, I don't need to. I could say 78.50 if I really wanted to, but it's the same answer. So be careful with the way you express your answers. Make sure that in area, you're expressing them as units squared. Make sure that you're also um, rounding to the appropriate tenth or hundredth or even thousandth, whatever they ask for. 
All right, does my answer make sense of 78 squares or centimeters squared? Sure it does, because it's about three times the radius squared. About three times 25 would be 75, so sure. All right, nice work. Let's get to the ticket. What is the area of this circle? Just one problem tonight, and there's your formula. Area equals pi r squared. Go ahead. All right, let's see. What are the most popular names for boys and girls uh, given to babies in the year of 2013? I never would have guessed this. Jackson and Sophia. I like them both a lot. I just never would have guessed that. Okay, so if you think that question is lame, talk to my wife. Thank you and have a great night. Bye.